at least the episode of Gravity Falls that's on right now is a rerun. MKDH here, and uh, I'm going. This match is a sort I intentionally played this way because against this guy because because uh, because I wanted to showcase just how stupid. Seriously, look at that, 72% and I am taking a single hit. 88% and I am taking a single hit. Uh, seriously, just... Uh, yeah, you wanna know why? Because the only way you, you can try to counter it back roll spam is with dash attacks or with projectiles. Oh, but wait, you could also use certain aerials. Yeah, even if you could, that just brings up that all three have common weaknesses. Positioning will destroy... Oh, and how cute. <laughs> yeah, I like... Oh, finally he damages me, and I only have taken 131%! Oh my god! <laughs> That's ridiculous! And I screwed up there, but he couldn't grab me. <laughs> what the link? Yeah, there's a reason why why in the rematch I I went went ahead and chose Pac-Man against this guy and the match was a lot closer, believe me. I only managed to get him by managing to wall him when, upon recognizing that he had, he had a focus on mixing Judo and Karate and decided to, up, to use Karate to, uh, because for a pure style to counteract this mix style. So we have Lee, though. Oh. <sighs> oh my god. And the funny thing is, nowadays I play with the damage gauge off, so... It's basically a training weight, especially effective of um, playing as a character with mm, low and KO potential. <laughs> well, he does KO me because I botched the recovery. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Yes, yes, you could try to blink, try to edge camp Lil Mac, because, oh hey, Lil Mac just going to fall for that, so. And I'm going to show you how Lil Mac meant to be played without that, without that back roll stupidity, because, good, God, it's so stupid! Any dungeons and all. Uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah, as you see, I'm sort of being neutral air so that. Uh, Alright, I don't do well at first. He, he gives me some considerable problems, and of course, since I play with the damage gauge off in general. Whoa! His lead wasn't that. Oh, his lead wasn't uh, wasn't that huge. Uh, of course, that's a. Ow! Of course, he spikes me. Yeah, that's annoying. And he listen. So this is where the real match begins. And yeah, there we go. 
Yeah, you didn't think I'd just sight the up a stage. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sword hops with no attacks <laughs> means that I can, <laughs> or with neutral, with early neutral airs means that, I, <laughs> oh, means that, oh hey, guess what? <laughs> I can <laughs> go right into a <laughs> powerful attack and, oh, there you have it. Lots of damage in 40 seconds, I believe. Oh, and if you're wondering, one rematch, he actually won, but th there was significant lag, so he left right afterwards. I may as well showcase two other matches where there's some stupidity going on. First off, this this Link does, his us does the usual spam, and uh, of course I, I'm white through it right away, so I, he gets red. Spoilers, I too stocked this link. It's still annoying because. Because. I read him, and so why am I not rewarded nicely for my effort for doing so? I mean, God. It's even worse when you consider that Link can. That spam Link can like the. I've used the hook shot as well. See, I already have him up to 99%. Wow. He could have hook shot at me there, but nope. There he couldn't. Down smash reach. Seriously, why aren't these rewarded better? No, better yet, the half-breeds not get punished. Like, oh hey, I shouldn't get grabbed because I down it. Somebody who rolls right into me. I mean, why did that? Oh right, convenient perfect shield timing. I read the roll. Why am I getting... Ah! That's another reason why roll <laughs> reading should be better. I mean, good. Just seriously, game. Pop the anti armor attack. This is ridiculous. And there goes one of my Pikmin. I'm at 87 percent because Link phases are no joke, but. I wouldn't need the ground plan if there weren't so much of a thing, sort of anti-air attacks and good god. <sighs> Sometimes I really hate this shit. Oh, I... Uh. Don't you just love when you can just up the... Uh, seriously, why did they overbuff and up smashes so they can... Uh, oh, and they also over down attacks because... Uh, no doubt because of little Mac. Uh, what? Yeah, like I say, too stuck on this jackhole. In the other match, because here I play Shulk without resorting to a certain game. This is actually from a while back, but it's just a well. Shulk is given one gimmick, not the Monado, that it. that makes it viable. And by viable, it makes 
gives him something that's stupid powerful. I mean, what is it? N namely, he can spam the neutral or in forward air. <laughs> and those moves do not have have sickeningly good landing leg. I mean, yeah, see what I mean. I mean. Oh, and if you're wondering, yes, I do to stop this guy. Even though he planks the entire... Not plank, edge camps the entire time. I mean... The reason why I keep him under control is because I juggle between the jump speed and shield monados. It keeps him... It keeps him having to guess. I also do some empty jump. Of course, that can happen. Because, because boxing counters judo. Honestly, though. This guy doesn't even bother to contest the center, he just sits there away. <laughs> he gets insults and delays or you know, so he overthinks that, I mean... <laughs> but, oh hey, guess what, I'll just mm, keep you pressured, buddy. <laughs> Honestly, this match goes on longer than it should anyway, but just because... Seriously, why do forward and neutral? Why do silks and forward and neutral airs not have ridiculously low landing lag? I mean, what? They have such good range. I mean, there's no reason they should have low landing lag. I mean, uh, I mean, the whole point of landing lag is to make sure you want to. Do what I'm do the sort of thing I'm doing there. Not attack and let the opponent defeat themselves. Bye bye. <laughs> I mean, seriously. No, I haven't played Xenoblade Chronicles.